and today we shall discuss about major crops and case studies. Major crops. The main crops that are grown today are food crops, commercial crops, beverage crops and fiber crops. A variety of food crops and cash crops are grown in India due to presence of different kinds of soil and climatic conditions. Let us learn about food crops. What are food crops? Rice. Rice is the staple food of India. It grows well in the temperature between 20 to 30 degrees centigrade. It can be cultivated both in tropical and temperate climatic conditions. For the cultivation of rice, it requires plenty of water and the soil should be alluvial. China is the world's largest producing of rice in the world and India is the second largest producer. In India, rice is grown in during curry season, that is during summer. Major producing states in India are West Bengal, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana and Assam. If you see the image, uh, people planting paddy, the second most cultivated cereal in the world. It grows well in temperate regions. It requires well-drained loamy and alluvial soils. Wheat is grown in prairies of USA and Canada. The other major pro wheat producing countries are China, India, Russia, France, Ukraine and Australia. Wheat is majorly grown in during winter season in India. Punjab and Haryana are the chief producers of wheat in India. The next type of food crop is maize. Maize. Maize is also known as corn. It is widely grown crop and popularly consumed as a cereal. It requires moderate temperature and rainfall between 50 to 80 centimeters. US is the largest producer of maize. Later, Karnataka, in India, Karnataka, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, and Assam are producers of maize. Maize grows well in soils like olo, alluvial, and red soils. This is about food crops. Second type is plantation crops. Plantation crops. Sugar cane come under plantation crop. Sugarcane is one of the most important commercial crops grown in tropical regions. It requires a temperature of 25 degrees centigrade. Alluvial or rich loamy soil is suitable for growing sugarcane. Brazil is the largest producer and then followed by India in production of sugarcane. In India, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Punjab and Haryana are the producers of sugarcane. Rubber. Rubber is, the hot and is grown in hot and equatorial regions. It requires a temperature of 30 degrees centigrade and rainfall over 200 centimeters. Lateral soil is used for this crop. Latex is tapped and processed to produce rubber for different uses. The Amazon basin is the home for rubber tree. Malaysia, Indonesia and Sri Lanka are the major producers of rubber in the world. Kerala is the major producing rubber state in India. If you see this image, Latex is extracted from a rubber tree. Coming to the next type of crop that are beverage crops. Tea is the largest most consumed beverage. It requires temperature of 20 degrees centigrade and an average rainfall of 200 centimeter for its growth. Mountain soil is suitable for plantation of tea. Tea cultivation requires abundant and cheap skilled labor. China is the world's largest producer of tea in the world. The other tea producer states in India are Darjeeling, Jalpaiguri, districts of West Bengal, Assam, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Coffee. Coffee is grown in tropical regions and moderately high temperate which reduces heavy rainfall. Brazil is the largest producer of coffee in, in, in the world. In India, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu are the main coffee plantation states. Rich porous loam or volcanic soil is suitable for coffee plantation. Coming to the next type of crop that are fiber crops. Cotton. Cotton or origin of this crop is from India. It grows best where average temperature is around 25 degrees centigrade. Black volcanic soil is most suitable for this type of cultivation. In India, cotton is mainly grown in the regions of Chota Nagpur Plateau and Deccan Plateau and the states of Maharashtra, Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh. Coming to next type of fiber crop that is jute. The jute plant grows well in hot and wet conditions. Alluvial soil is best for this type of cultivation. Jute is known as the golden fiber. India and Bangladesh are the world's largest producers of 
Jude. The Lord Ganga based in West Bengal and Sundarbans are the chief producers of Jude in India. Bihar, Meghalaya and Orissa also produce Jude. In the image you can see a Jude plantation. Farming in India In India, land is divided among the family members. Most of the Indian families farmers have economically unviable agricultural plants. These farmers continue to use old cultivation plopping with bullocks and harvesting crops manually. Large farmers, large farms are used very few in numbers. After the independence, government launched Green Revolution which helped the farmers educate about agricultural practices. The, they were, farmers were given incentives, better seeds and fertilizers and supply of power and water to help them to increase the agricultural yield. Dairy farms were supported throughout the white revolution which helped in increase of milk production through animals, veterinary facilities etc. Crop rotation and multiple crops have been introduced in farming and production has gone up significantly in India. Let, if you look at this picture you can see a dairy farm in Gujarat. Now let us discuss about farming in USA. The farms in USA are large holdings where extensive farming is practiced using machines. Most farms are on an average of 500 acres going up to 1000 of acres. These farmers are educated and keep themselves updated on new research and local market positions. A typical farm in the prairie is a huge with separate billing for cattle and large steel structures called silos for storage of harvested grains. You can see in this image a large steel structure called steros. These are used to storage of harvested grains. 